Now, six years ago today was the last time anyone saw Little Rock High Schooler Ebby Stepik alive. That's after initially finding her car in West Little Rock. The case then went cold. That's until a few years later when her body was found in a drainage ditch just 60 feet from her car. THV 11's Ian Russell spoke to Ebby's family today as they continue to remember and push for answers. They say time heals all wounds. This year seems to be a little bit easier, more peaceful. And for Lori and Michael Jernigan, that's at least partially true. No, it doesn't go away. A lot of it for me is blurred. Six years ago Sunday is a day they'll never forget. Their daughter, Ebby Stepik, was last seen on October 24th, 2015. Yesterday morning I woke up and that was the beginning of the evil. Nearly three years later, in 2018, authorities found Ebby's remains just 60 feet from where they found her car at Chalamont Park in West Little Rock. I want to know more. I want to make sure more is done. Lori and Michael graciously agreed to meet me where Ebby's body was found at Chalamont Park. You might think this would be hard for them to do. I thought so too, but this has become a place of memory for them, not grief. There are certain parts of the area that's a little bit different, th difficult than others. This is the last place on earth she was alive. You know, you just are left with that. If I, if God didn't give me complete peace, I'd be in an institution locked up somewhere. Ebby's case is still unsolved. The Little Rock police detective who was working on the case has retired, and a new detective has taken the case up. COVID slowed down the investigation, but Lori says there's hope for new information. And I mean, they also know <laughs> that I'm not going to stop. I mean, you know, so. Um, they, <laughs> they're they aware of my, uh, that I'm persistent and aggressive. They know where this case started and how bad it was. As time goes on, you might expect the pain to fade away. I'll be okay and I'm still going to feel this way. I want to find out what happened to her and I'm energized about it. But time here isn't letting the memories of Ebby Stepik disappear. It's making them and Lori and Michael's mission now clearer than ever. Help us find Ebby, find justice. Help us, help us find out what happened to Ebby. That's what I want people to hear me say. Help us. In Little Rock, I'm Ian Russell, THV 11 News.